I'm a student of history and this news was no surprise to me. What am I talking about? It's the recent article about how HDB just launched its largest sales exercise to combat the soaring resale prices. In fact, it's my opinion that the government moved in a little too late to curb the HDB prices. I shared with my clients in early 2021 that I anticipate the government to come up with HDB cooling measures to curb prices because prices at that time were already near the previous high. And if you just take a lesson from history during the previous high in the HDB market in 2012-2013, here's what our then Minister of National Development, Ko Boon Wan, had to say. Ko Boon Wan recognised the lack of supply and rising demand, causing the prices of resale HDBs to increase significantly. And we are experiencing something similar because of Ko The supply of BTOs were delayed, causing a sudden lack of supply and yet rising demand that can't be met. This caused buyers to shift to the resale market, causing a surge in resale HDB prices. You might be wondering, so what did HDB do to curb the prices back in 2012 and 2013? Firstly, they introduced the mortgage servicing ratio, basically limiting the buying power of buyers. Secondly, Kobun One ordered the flooding of supply of BTO HDB flats amounting to 20,000 to 25,000 units each year for the next 5 years. So guess what happened to prices because of these two big moves? When there's lower demand and yet increased supply, what do you think happens? Lower prices! In fact, prices declined consecutively for 7 years. Isn't that similar to what we're facing right now? Let me show you. On 16th of December 2021, the government lowered the loan-to-value limits for HDBs to 85%, basically reducing the loan buyers can take, which in turn lowers their purchasing power. So this lowers the demand and actively reduces prices. On 29th September 2022, the government once again further reduced the loan-to-value limits for HDBs to 80% and introduced a 15-month wait-out for private property downgraders. This further pushes down the demand. Not only that, HDB has been actively ramping up the supply of BTO HDB flats. In 2022, HDB has already offered a total 27,118 flats and they have said that they are prepared to launch up to 100,000 flats over the next few years to 2025. Looks like history is going to repeat itself. To me, it's pretty clear where HDB prices are heading to. I don't blame the government. It's a necessary move to keep HDB prices affordable. However, if you're a HDB owner today, your decisions will be very crucial. Are you prepared to see your HDB price decline rapidly for potentially 7 years or more? If you want to know what you can do right now, I'm having an upcoming masterclass where I'll be sharing with you where I see the opportunities in the market and how you can take advantage of it to make 6 figure profits in the next 3 to 5 years. Link around this video.